Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video here, you are going to learn how to make your Android phone look like Android M, which is a very good version of Android. So as you can see here, by default, I am using the, the launcher that comes with my phone, which is the LG G2. And quite frankly, I don't like it that much. So you can fix this. You can get a better launcher by using the Android M launcher, which is, which is close to stock Android. So to do this, go to the Play Store and then and then look for and look for type the Android M launcher. So type Android M launcher right here. There you go. And then install it. As you can see, it's free. Now, since this is a five megabyte file, it really shouldn't take long to download. As you can see, it's already installing. And there you go, it's done installing. So now tap open. And there you go. Your phone now looks like Android M. And so what's really cool about this is that this doesn't require like any special kind of hack anything extensive like rooting your phone you can do this without using root okay so as you can see very neat here uh, it really does look like android m and you have this search bar on top and now keep in mind this software this uh, launcher is constantly getting updated so um, over time it will look like more and more like android m so as you can see if i go to the app drawer So as you can see, if I go to the app drawer and tap search, I can even search for apps from the app drawer, which is a feature of Android M. So say, for example, I want to look for the camera. There you go. I have two separate cameras on my phone, so that's why it's showing all three. So as you can see, very, very, very similar to, to Android M. So, and in addition, and what is more, you can do a lot more things with this app. So as you can see, if you swipe left, it brings you lots of extra settings right here, which looks which look really nice. And if you swipe down from your notification tray, look look at this right here. This extra toggles gives you some more functionality. And also, you can really spice up the launcher. If you go to my setting do M setting and you go to theme and UI you can change the animation speed as you can see by default this is how the drawer opens like this and if I change the animation speed by going to theme and UI and turn it to fast for example as you can see it opens so much faster so there are a lot more things that you can do with this um with, with this with this launcher and also you can increase icon size say for example um i like my icons big and large well i can easily increase the size look i'm going to make them super big look at this whoa <laughs> yeah these are some pretty big icons Woohoo! i'm sure you don't want these now but this just goes to show just how much you can customize your android phone with this launcher it's very similar to 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 nova launcher and it gives you lots of extra settings and what is more this launcher even allows you to hide useless apps that you don't need so say for example you go you type the app launcher right these icons are way too big okay so now you tap on the, the app launcher if you go to the top right corner of the screen where you see these three dots the settings and there you go you have the option to hide apps so if i select this and here tap add i can hide a lot of things that i don't need i know i don't need at&t locker at&t navigator at&t ready to go AT&T smart Wi-Fi, all of these things. Uh, 
beats music. I don't need that. I I, I don't like the default LGG two clock. Just you can just hide a lot of things. Uh, Facebook, sorry. <laughs> Just lots of things we can hide right here. Let's see. Life square. I don't know what that is. Don't need it. Let's see. You can hide just so many things in the list. It goes on and on and on. All right. So now, once you're done doing this, we type save. to tap save and there you go as you can see my drawer is a lot more simple when I do this so you can do so many things this launcher and it does really make your phone look like Android M um, of course if you want to really really make your phone look like Android M to the fullest extent then, then you should root your phone but really when you get this close there really is no point I mean this app allows you to do a lot uh, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.